Hey guys, what's going on? Ryan here, and today I've got another After Effects tutorial for you guys. But before I start, I just want to apologize for my inactivity recently. I know it's been extremely bad, but I do really apologize, and hopefully, I can start being a lot more active. And um, the main reason is just because I had no idea what to upload, but now I kind of do. I just kind of need your help as well. If you're um, looking for a specific tutorial, just let me know. Either message me on YouTube or message me on Twitter. Um, I'll reply to you and all and if you've got a good tutorial request I'll hopefully uh, do my best to make a tutorial on it and then that'll be all good and stuff but anyway with that all done and dusted basically this tutorial is on creating color correction by using optical flares and as you can see we've got a nice blue one up here and a nice orange one and in my opinion it looks pretty cool uh, I don't think anyone has really done a tutorial on this it's pretty simple anyway it's kind of really basic but it's um yeah it's pretty simple and I don't think anyone's really done any tutorial on it I didn't really see any on YouTube and yeah hopefully this is a good tutorial for you guys anyway so I'm just going to get rid of these here and you can see we've, we've got the playing clip here what we're going to do is go up to composition and we're going to make a new composition call this flare 1 make it same aspect ratio as your main comp make it 24 frames per second mainly because there's no point of being 59.94 or 60 or whatever really 24 is fine just because it's a still image and the duration is going to be as long as you want it to be on your screen for so it's mainly going to be kind of the same length as your main comp and yeah we've got this called flare one what we're going to do is create a new solid you can create one by going to layer new solid or you can right click down here go to new solid or you can just click down here press control y and it will bring up this box like all the rest of the options um, also, if you want a uh, what's it shortcut tutorial, let me know because shortcuts are extremely helpful in After Effects, and I use them a lot. So if you want a tutorial on that, just let me know. Anyway, so we're gonna make this, make a comp size, make it black, hit OK, and go over to your effects and presets tab, and we're gonna type in flares, and I would um hope that all of you have optical flares otherwise there will be no point in watching this tutorial as it is titled how to make CCU optical flares or something like that but um, yeah you're going to just drag this on to your black solid and you can see that we have this looking weird looking flare and in my opinion it's not the nicest it doesn't look that great but it's up to you if you want to keep it or not but yeah basically we're going to move the two center not center positions but kind of these I forget what they're called maybe they are center positions but we're going to move them both to the top and we're going to go up to options on this optical flares tab thing and we're going to wait for this to load oh no okay it's fine and basically I've got some custom presets here and I've got a red one a blue one and I don't really use this one anyway so I'll just stick with these two so to get it looking like this if you want the flares to look like this go back to these folders here and I believe the blue ones are natural flares at the very bottom yeah it's called Sankir 16 if you're wanting to get the same one as me basically what I did is I got rid of all these little bits and bobs here um, the green little iris here I didn't like also you actually looking at that you might be able to solo that bring up the brightness and turn it into some weird thing on a hood I'm not sure though that's up to you to mess around with but yeah just delete them you can also hide them if you don't don't want to delete them and um, actually don't hide or delete the glows or the main streaks because then your flare will just look quite bad but yeah you can also hide them because uh, then if you hit OK 
you can go back into it and they won't actually be deleted. So then what you're going to do is press save preset, save it into your custom presets folder or create a new folder. I wouldn't suggest saving them in any of these folders here because um, you get mixed up with the default uh, lens flares. Save it whatever you want. I'm not going to save it because I've got the preset here. So that's my blue one there. Going to press OK. And yeah, there we go. So now we have this flare here, and we're going to put the brightness on about 170. Put the scale on 120. And I know the brightness seems like a lot, but uh, it actually isn't crazy. So when you put it on, so don't worry about the brightness. And you can adjust it yourself. It depends. Every clip is going to look different. Every map, I should probably say. Actually, no, every clip. Anyway. Um, now we're going to create another flare. Call this flare too. Oh God, what did I do? Oh, I just press enter. Okay, we're going to call this flare too. Not three, two. Same settings as your last composition. Control Y brings up a solid select. Okay. Double click on optical flares, and you'll bring this disgusting-looking weird joke up again. And we're going to just move it up to here. Actually, no, we're not, because this is going to be the flare at the bottom. So we're going to put it at the bottom. And we're going to go to the opposites again. Got the custom presets, get the red one. And if you're looking for this red one, it's in pro presets, and it has 50 in brackets there. Um and you can see this is it, it's called laser point I think, yeah laser point and I just got rid of the sparkles really because I don't want them and then I saved it as a preset and yeah so I'm gonna just load this in and I'm actually gonna change the color here to an orange type thing and see you can like work with the scale in the options here and you can change the layout of it as well if you want but I think I'm after messing it up so I'm just going to press OK <coughs> right so now you've got this here bring the brightness up to about 220 and I know that's kind of a significant um, increase in the brightness but Trust me, it needs to be about that bright. Actually, maybe even more, maybe 250. Because basically, this flare is at the bottom. And the blue flare is at the top. And on your clip, you're going to have the sun shining at the top. Or if it's not the sun shining, it's just going to be the sky. And the sky is relatively bright. So, you're going to have um, the sky mixed with the other flare, which is blue, as you can see. And it's already bright enough, so basically the sky mix with that is going to add up to this being pretty similar to the brightness of this. Um, so that's really why you have the top one not as bright as the bottom one because the sunlight makes it bright anyway. So we've got two of these here now, and we're going to go back to our main comp. And let me see how I'm doing on time. 8 minutes 50. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm rushing this, guys. I just don't want to spend ages on it. And hopefully this is going pretty well. So, you're going to add Flare 2 and Flare 1. And if your blending mode isn't showing, basically yours might look like this down here. So you're going to press F4, put the blending mode on Add on both of them. And there you go. And as you can see, this has a weird kind of semicircle here and doesn't look that great. So, I'm going to oh, auto save. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, we can bring this down a bit. Bring this up just so we don't have a black bar across there. And we'll bring the brightness up a bit more. No, actually, we'll leave the brightness on about 260. 
put the scale up to 160 that might be way too much but I don't know and there there you have it it actually wasn't that bad but um, really it's just uh, kind of it's more trial and error than anything you just have to kind of keep working with it and see how you like it and I know this is a bit bright up here that's what I was saying about the sky because if we turn this off actually no that was the first one if we turn this off you'll see that it's already actually pretty bright up there so yeah I've also seen some people do this where they have just the flare at the top and then they actually have the clip like I don't know they add curves I think and they just go to the blue and they like bring up the blue on the clip and they make it like that or something I don't know maybe that's not even what they do but I've seen people who have had edits where they kind of look like that so you can try that out also or you can just do it and leave it like this but yeah I think this is kind of cool Um, hopefully no one has done the tutorial on it really and hopefully it's not like an old effect that I never knew about or something and yeah thanks for watching once again and I hope you found this helpful and if you have any specific tutorials just let me know and yeah that's it alright bye guys